is in number 26 of WISN 12's Operation Football begins with our game of the week, which featured the debut of one of the brand new playing surfaces installed in Waukesha. We go to Watertown at Waukesha West. Opening drive, Watertown immediately proved they had plans to spoil the party. Casey Shewitt, 14 yard touchdown pass to Carson Keeser, 7 0 Goslings. Later in the first, Wolverines answer right back. A four yard touchdown run by Nick Radloff. They missed the extra point. The West was down 7 6. Later in the first quarter, Watertown inside the five. Shewitt on the quarterback keeper makes it 14 6 Watertown, but a big defensive play changed the momentum in the second quarter. Dyson Chimura, son of former Packer Mark Chimura, with a big hit on Shewitt, who fumbled the ball. Freshman Peter McCutton scooped up the loose chain, went 20 yards for the touchdown, giving West the 20 14 halftime lead, and they pulled away from there. Late in the third quarter, Matt Snyder. Runs it in from seven yards out for a little cushion. And the Wolverines defense pitched a shutout in the second half. Cody Kujava, the interception. Waukesha West beats Watertown 33 to 14. 540 ESPN's Lance Davis spoke to Wolverines coach Steve Rux after the game. Here in Waukesha West with head coach Steve Rux of the Wolverines, victorious this evening, 33 to 14 over Watertown. Not a bad night for your first night on the field turf. Yeah, yeah, it was a great night. Our guys played their tails off. Uh, it was a little shaky early on, yeah. uh, but we we were able to create some turnovers on our defense, offensively sustain some drives, and just real proud of our guys. We had guys going down, cramping, and other guys stepping in, and uh, I liked our heart tonight. We, our execution's got to be a little bit better, but our guys are happy and they played well. The play that really changed it was that forced turnover by Dyson Chamura with the sack and the fumble recovery. Senior causes it, and a freshman, Peter McCutton, takes it in. Right. What a great first, first carry for Peter McCutton, you know, and more to come. And uh, Dyson played his tail off. He was, uh, they were getting after the quarterback. Um, Watertown is an excellent team, excellent team throwing, and uh, we knew it was never out of reach. We had to keep playing hard. And how about that balance? Five different players score a touchdown tonight. That's good balance, isn't it? Yeah. I don't know if we planned it that way. That's the story here at Waukesha West. They win tonight. Steve, head coach Steve Rux, Lance Davis. Back to you in the studio, Dan Needles.